So if last week wasn't fun enough with the TAA and all the other crap that went on on this channel, well, this week is a doozy because the Bassmaster Elites are here, right there behind me on Harris Chain. And Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour Stage 3 is at Dale Hollow. And that is going to be exceptional fishing. Really, it should be pretty good fishing in both spots. Dale Hollow isn't having spawning fish, which is going to be great, but forward-facing sonar is going to play a big part in those guys. And if you don't know about Dale Hollow, it is well recognized as the southernmost place to catch the biggest smallies on around. Their smallie population is astounding. This is, quite honestly, I had thought about doing a video of five places I think you need to go fishing, and Dale Hollow was number one on my list. So Major League Fishing going to Dale Hollow in the Bass Pro Tour is extremely exciting for me as a fan. At the same time, having the Harris Chain and the Bassmaster Elites is also amazing. But we're going through a little bit of a cold front right now. And that's going to have a little bit of effect on the fishing down here. Not to mention, I think as the tournament starts, because it's just Monday right now, as the tournament starts going, we're going to have some iffy weather as the week goes on. And when I say it's a cold front come through, it's about, it, this morning it was about 52 degrees, which is extremely cold for April 8th down here in Florida. We're our, usually already sweating our balls off. But this is the first time we've had this cooler air come through. And when we have cooler air, it really affects our fishing. My question to you, though, is which tournament are you going to watch this week? Are you going to watch MLF in Dale Hollow or the Elites on Harris Chain? And there will be some giant fish caught on the Harris Chain. But I also think there's going to be some giant smallies caught on Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. And for the Elites... Lake Apopka is going to come into play. There's going to be a lot of people going through Lake Apopka, going through the lock, which only holds like two or three people. And what happens is the Florida Wildlife Commission goes around and shocks fish to see what the population is, to see what they have, how big they are, and so forth. And for years, Lake Apopka has been known as having more 10-pound bass than any place in the state of Florida. And that is huge numbers. But catching those fish is a six, extreme challenge. Those fish are tough to catch because they haven't, well, I don't even need to go into it. There's, a, there's, it is tough fishing on Lake Apopka. Are there a lot of fish? Yes. They keep dumping a million bass in year after year after year, I think, and they just have a healthy population of really good fish. But Lake Apopka and the Harris Chain and Eustis and Tavares and Mount Dora, all those areas that they're going to be fishing, it's going to be a really good tournament. Not to mention, we have probably our April bluegill spawn happening. Really, if it hasn't happened already, it's probably happening. And that's going to make the fishing even better. But I can tell you what's going to really happen on the other places. Grass is really going to come into play. The edges of grass is where bass are going to be hiding. This is a time of the year when ambushing bass for forage fish really is the key to your success or catching big ones. So your worms and your jigs and all that stuff are going to come to play down here on the elites on the Harris chain. And up there on Dale Hollow, because I'm going back and forth, this is going to be all about forward-facing sonar, little minnows, little jig heads, little drop shots, stuff like that. There's a good chance that the big bags are all going to be or a majority of the fish are going to be smallies. And it's not that they don't have a healthy population of largemouth, but when you see the difference in the largemouth population and the smallie population, then that is what most anglers are probably going to target. But it's going to be a great week. It really is. And as the week goes on, we'll do some updates, talk about what happened that day. I'll try to watch as much as possible, but also at the end, we'll go over the Major League Fishing Points race. It's still, it's still kind of sort of up in the air, but it really isn't. And we really need to talk about at some point in time what kind of exemptions anglers have that shouldn't be exempt, which will probably cause a little bit of controversy. But that's all my life has been last week, ever since last Sunday, getting texts while I was sitting in church about how, well, let's not even go into it. It isn't worth it. So I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Which tournament are you watching? Dale Hollow, Harris Chain. 
I want to know that. I really do want to know which one you're going to watch. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much for supporting me. And cheers.